Arts here in San Francisco. And I founded this organization um, after getting Ellis Act evicted of my home that I spent 40% of my life in. I was the 13th disabled person with AIDS evicted on my block in just two years. Um, and so in addition to starting the AIDS Housing Alliance, um, with the help of a lot of allies, including um, the Housing Rights Committee, the San Francisco Tenants Union, and under the auspices of Supervisor Chris Daly, um, I came up with an idea for a piece of legislation called No Fast Pass to Eviction. And that was the spark of what started this whole movement to stop allowing buildings to condo convert if they've evicted senior or disabled people. Um, and at that time, I was living at 6567 Pearl Street two units. Um, the, I wrote the legislation because of getting evicted at this address. That building was supposed to never, ever, ever be able to condo convert. That's what Scott Weiner has been talking about, trying to put forward um, this idea that people, um, that the no, no evictions are going to happen when these, um, when these buildings are converted. This here is the piece of information I got from DPW. That building that I, that inspired the entire No Fast Pass to Eviction was illegally condo converted in 2010. So this notion that, that buildings that did these evictions are not gonna get the benefits of condo conversion is an absolute falsehood. Now, now is it that Supervisor Scott Weiner is uninformed? Yes. Or is he misleading you? <laughs> is acceptable in, a, in an elected leader in San Francisco. You either know what you're talking about or you're, you're lying to us and he's doing something wrong. We need to get to the bottom of this. The, the people at DBW said that they're very concerned that a lot more buildings that should have never condo converted did. We don't know if it's because of corruption or ineptitude, corruption! but neither answer is right. We need to get to, bo to the bottom of this. We need Supervisor Scott Weiner to be looking at corruption in city departments yeah. or ineptitude in city departments, not looking for ways to give away a lot of value to people who evict senior and disabled folks. And to give you an idea of what kind of figures we're talking about, they bought my building for $700 thousand dollars. The woman who bought it was a serial evictor. She never lived there. She flipped it. On the documents that I saw, the, um, the assessor's office now says that my apartment, just my apartment, is worth 1.2 million. Both of them, so it's 2.4 million dollars. In six years, they turned 700 thousand dollars into 2.4 million dollars. That's what this is really all about. It's not about people being victimized. It's not about people getting in trouble. It's about a bunch of greedy bastards trying to get more money on the backs of poor people. And you've got to decide in this town, who are you for? Are you for the rich people or are you for the rest of us? And we're not going to take it anymore. Yeah.